Sounds about right with mine too. Yeah. Great. Uh, I'm John Francis Staley, a co-writer and co-director of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Jonathan Goldstein, same. Jeremy Latcham, I'm the producer of the film. Um, so I want to know about like behind the scenes on set. Obviously, you were saying in the panel that you guys were just pretty much working because we couldn't do anything else. In my mind, before fight scene, everyone rolls initiative to see who can get the first punch. What is it like on set with camera? Uh, very much similar to any campaign. I mean, you're faced with a, a number of challenges, some of them unexpected, and it's figuring out how to to deal with them. You know, we we had to deal with a lot of people's schedules and. COVID and quarantine restrictions created a lot of um, issues that we had to work out, but uh, fortunately uh, we had an incredible team of crew and, and cast that were, were game to, to pivot with the punches. It was a highly technical shoot in a lot of ways because of the visual effects. We sometimes were doing those in multiple locations over multiple days out of order, and um, so there was a lot of preparation that had to go in. Sometimes the cast wasn't even entirely sure what they were doing in that moment, <laughs> so they just had to kind of rely on us. This is where the dragon is and you're running this way and you know that kind of thing so. yeah, I mean the, the film you know there's there's parts of the movie you're just trying to stitch so many different things together and, and you make plans and you make plans and kind of like Chris in the, in the trailer you get into the plans change and make a new plan and there was uh, there were parts of the film where we were planning we'd gone scouting like in France for instance we, we had a cast that we wanted to shoot there and then uh, and then the situation with COVID changed and we were not allowed to, to go to France and, and it would have been 20 days of quarantine and then in France and 10 we came back whatever and so you, you just pivot, you know, and, and then you, you pivot, you make a new plan, but then we found a way to get the France castle in part of our Neverwinter castle anyways. So you're just always like looking for avenues and it's really fun. It's like a real challenge, you know, the jigsaw puzzle is a movie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hello there. Hi. Hello. Uh, John, you started your acting career in the mainly for D games, um, literally playing D&D. &D. Um, did, uh, uh, did you want to include any in jokes um, about this, and were you tempted to uh, cast James Franco and cameo him as Carlos? Carlos the Dwarf? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he probably would have been too expensive. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we definitely uh, got to put a, a few of uh, Jonathan and my in jokes in the, in the film that no one would recognize or get for that matter. Um, you know, the, the character. There's a, well, should I even give it away? Probably there's a, not. probably not. <laughs> for, the, for those who care, there's a, a name we put in all our movies, going back to Horrible Bosses, I think. That, uh, yeah. The world's most here. boring Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will say that, that, uh, that, that the role that John had in Freaks and Geeks has been like very instrumental. Like, in that when I was at Marvel starting the search trying to find a writer, writer for uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, like one of the, I read this incredible script from their, of theirs, and one of the things we were trying to do with that movie was make something that felt like the cross between a John Hughes movie and a, and Freaks and Geeks, and, and and like the fact that John had been in Freaks and Geeks was like a selling point as I was trying to explain these two guys to everybody. It's like it's Jonathan Goldstein and, and John Francis Daly. John Francis Daly was in Freaks and Geeks, uh, so that like makes sense for Spider-Man: Homecoming. But it was mostly because the writing was so good. But it was a uh, it was a bonus. It was a bonus. Yeah. It was a bonus. Hi. 